if you're coming to the Philippines, you need to come to El Nido. Or that lived up to so everything. Like, my expectations were super high. Oh my goodness. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to El Nido. Currently, like, 7 a.m. in the morning, so the town is just waking up. And we are going it's on the hunt. Yeah, it's pretty busy. <laughs> So we're currently on the hunt to try and find a good spot to have a nice cup of coffee. Cheers, folks, to a day of adventures. So here in El Nido, if you want to do any tours, they actually only have four available called A, B, C and D. But because we are here on a tour with tour radar, we're actually going out on our own private tour, which means that we don't have to go to the places that all the tourists flock to. We're going to get to go and see some more unique and hopefully a little bit more quiet areas around El Nido. Never really experienced this before and I'll give a big thumbs up towards the Tourism Board of Philippines because they super regulate it. You can only do one of the tours a day. So you can only do A, B, C or D a day. You can't mix and change and they refuse for you to take plastic out onto the actual boats, which is good. But I need to show you guys how many boats there are just to show you how busy the Philippines is getting. All these boats are waiting for the tourists to come. I got a feeling it's the moment my life's gonna start. I got the feeling when the windows roll down in the car. I got the feeling if I wanna fly, I know that I could. I got a feeling it's all feeling good. I got a feeling it's all feeling good. Alrighty guys, we've come to our first stop of the day. It's a place called Small Lagoon. It was about 30 minutes from the main island and we've jumped in a couple of kayaks because the big boats can't get us there. I can't actually see Small Lagoon at the moment. They said we need to kind of maneuver our way through a little crevice and then we should be revealed the Small Lagoon. Also, look at the color of this water. Wow. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. Wow, this is so pretty. How nice is this? <laughs> wow, it's so quiet. And the water is so clear. Wow. Yeah, so much different type of fish that I don't think I've seen before and the actual coral is super nice as well. Also, the water is so unbelievably warm here in the Philippines. Floating star. <laughs> Floating star. And then meron? Beer. Oh! There's meron. beer. Coconut. Okay. Rum. Uh -huh. So he's got coconut and rum and beer. <laughs> Literally a local on a kayak bringing around rum coconut. Oh man, I want to see him open this on the kayak. Coconut rum? No rum, no rum. No thank you. Otherwise I won't be able to swim. Thank you so much. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Got my coconut. And how cool, it's not plastic straw. Oh yeah. Yeah. How is it? Is that just the freshest thing right now? I think I've had like too many coconuts since I got to the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> so the ice cream man has just come and look at this little kid. Yes, please. Yeah, can I have a... <coughs> yeah, I'll have the almond one, please. Oh my gosh, dude. It's so heavy. Guys, I found a clamshell, Steve. <sighs> you should see how heavy it is. Guys, we've now come to our very own island. We're the only people here. And at the moment, the guys that have been driving the boat, they're currently cooking us a giant feast and we're going to be eating it here on the island. This is like the best day ever. Oh, it looks so good. 
Wow, that snapper is massive. Oh, this is so nice. They've actually set up a nice little table for us. This is your old private area. Wow. Hey, cats. Okay. Wow, the food looks good. Sweet. Oh, yum. Shrimp. Oh. This is really good banana cake. Oh, yum. And they're doing your um, eggplant. Ooh. They call it ensalada. So they grill the eggplant, it's taking the skin off. They chop it up, they put onions and tomatoes. So it's like a side salad. Yeah. And then I'm, this is chicken adobo. Mm. So we just found out on this like private island beach, there's a place where you can rent out. So you rent out the entire place and then you get your own butler. A lot of people have weddings here. This would be paradise just coming here for a weekend or a week. So much food. Yes. So much food. Seriously, this, how's the seafood? Mm -hmm. So good. Guys, yesterday was seriously unreal. Like, if you're coming to the Philippines, you need to come to El Nido, or at least the island of Palawan, because, wow, like... That lived up to so everything. Like, my expectations were super high, and they were met, and we just had such a relaxing time, and we still got to see so much. Like, I highly suggest you guys definitely come here and just see as many islands as possible. But it's the next day and uh, this morning we decided to stroll around the town of El Nido. We did a little bit of shopping and now we've jumped in a tricycle and we've headed to a place called Leo Beach. It's about like a 15-20 minute drive out and there is a bunch of restaurants and hotels and it's way more quiet and chill. And if you've spent a couple of days in El Nido it's nice to come out somewhere and just you know sit on the beach, relax, have some good food and just be chill. Guys, we're having a bit of a windy day here in El Nido. We found a place that does pressed juices. Carrot, ginger, some other good stuff. Calamansi, of course. Yeah, um, why, didn't, mm. why have I never heard or seen calamansi before? Now I'm obsessed with it. I think we found a good brunch spot, guys. This looks so good. Jess has gone for tacos okay. and I've gone for like Big a, sandwich. A big sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we've come back to Las Cabanas Beach. We were here in the last video. It's our favorite beach here in El Nido. And there was one thing we didn't do when we were here last time. Ready? Yes. Amazing. So the zip line goes from the mainland and right across to another island. We've never done a zip line like that before. There's half an hour left of half price cocktails, so we need to go get some drinks. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we are back in Puerto Francesca where it all began here in Palawan. 
and we have one more thing that we want to do here before we leave to Manila tomorrow and that is to go on a little boat and go and see some fireflies we have heard that there is a river nearby that is covered in fireflies at night so we've just come down to the bay and we're going to be heading to our boat and hopefully finding some fireflies Guys, we ended up seeing so many fireflies. They literally look like Christmas lights all like dotted in the mangroves. It was so cool. But that is pretty much the end of our time here in Palawan. We have a couple of videos maybe left. We're heading back to Manila now. So if you guys are new around here, if you enjoyed the series, hit subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Now we saw so much on our 19 day tour that we're struggling to fit everything into a top 10 list. But that's what we're going to do is show you some of the highlights from our tour radar Philippines trip.